I'm so tired of talking to people and hearing their stories about what they're going to do, what they plan to do. And we all know people like this. I mean, it could be friends, it could be family members, it could be people who we work with, people who just talk your ear off all day, every day about what they're going to do. It's never about what I'm doing. It's always about, you know, I just want to chase my dreams and I just want to follow my passion. And you talking all of this rhetoric that you heard somebody else say, and you really present it like this is what's really in your heart and in your mind. And it's you. I get frustrated. I'm like, yo, we've been talking about this for years. When exactly is the conversation going to change from what you plan to do to what you are doing. Like, I get it. I'm so happy for you that you want to chase your dreams, that you want to go and follow your passions. But when exactly is that going to happen? Because I've heard all about your plans already. I've heard about what it is you want to do for so long. Please change it up. And we all know people like this. People, we, we get in our own way sometimes and we don't really think about what it takes. You know, we look at people and there's so many people who are, you know, millionaires and multi-millionaires and they tell this hard knock life story about how they were able to pull themselves from poverty and now they're doing really big thing and they're rolling in the dough and all that's great. And, you know, for people who sitting on the other side, we get to look and be like, you know what? If he did it, if she did it, so can I. And guess what? You're absolutely right. Yes, you can, but you really need to, yes, while you admire these people for what they're doing, keep that in the line of sight. Keep where they are at right now in the line of sight. That's goals. That's something for you to work on. But where you really need to focus your attention is to the part of the journey that they're telling you about, that this, this journey towards success, it is not easy. It is going to make you earn every bit of it. There's nothing that is going to come easy on the journey to, to, to go from zero dollars to seven, eight, nine figures in a bank. That is difficult. Do you have that type of commitment? You know, I could sit and I talk to people and I ask them the same questions. Like, do you want to be successful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be successful. Do you want to be a multimillionaire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, I definitely want to be a multi. I'm going to be a multimillionaire. Well, are you built for it? Like, are you built for the letdowns? Are you built for the type of commitment and dedication to whatever it is that you're doing? Are you built for, you know, people telling you no and no and no over and over and over again? Are you built for the fact? Because, you know, most people think this is going to come easy and it's going to come quick. And it doesn't. So when year one goes by, you get a little frustrated, but you still up for the fight. Year two, year three, year four, year five. After a while, you're doing this. I tap out. No more. No mas. I cannot go anymore. I'm broke. I've been at this forever. And it's like, I thought you wanted this. Because, what, like, did you really think this was going to be easy? Did you really think that you were going to get success overnight? Because it doesn't work like that. But are you built for it? Are you built for that grind? Are you built for the, the, the setbacks and the disappointment that comes with this? And really, you, you're taking small steps, small steps. It's not these big leaps. You're taking these small steps. Are you built for those little, those little achievements? Because if you're not, this ain't the game for you. Go ahead and get that nine to five. Get something that's safe. Get something that you know bi-weekly there's going to be a direct deposit into my bank account. Because this over here, it ain't for you. And it drives me crazy because it's one thing to lie to me. It's another thing, lie to your friends and all that. But when you start lying to yourself, that's when you were just off the rails. That's when you just lost me. You know, we all know people, people who are talented, people who are born with gifts. All the top of my head, I think about these hood ballers, like guys that I grew up with, guys I know from the hood. And, you know, they, 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 they're incredible. If you put a ball in their hand, they're playing with league. I mean, they're playing in leagues all throughout the city. Everybody in the city know their name. But for them, 
while they'll tell you, I can't wait to get to the league. I can't wait to really take on the elite competition. I'm going to just dominate. What are you doing in your off hours? What are you doing when you're not playing in those summer tournaments? You, because you are just happy with hood love. You're happy with the fact that you can get all these hood girls. You're happy with the fact that you can get free sneakers for all of the tournaments that you play in. But in reality, during the off hours, nothing in your life is showing me that you are built for like true success because you're smoking, you're drinking. You, 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 you lay back, you're not in the gym, you're not running and doing everything that it takes to become an elite athlete yourself. It, 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 does that prove, does that say, does anything about that behavior tell you that you are ready to play in a league with the most elite athletes on planet Earth? But you'll tell all of us, including yourself, that you are going to be more than a local, than a local baller. Then there's another case, you know, when you, and, and I think about people who are really built for this, like, like people who have made it to the top. We all know these types of people who have made it to the top and they go through some turbulent times. And, you know, Robert Downey Jr. comes to mind right now because Robert Downey Jr., we all know him as Iron Man. We all know him, the, the Avengers in the face of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But let's think back to Robert Downey Jr. in the 90s. Robert Downey Jr. was a big star, don't get me wrong, but he was a straight fiend. This guy was an addict, and you know you're an addict when you get so high, you go to the wrong person's house, get in the wrong person's bed, and go to sleep. You're like, like Robert Downey Jr. was so high, this guy getting, cops knock on the door, wake him up like, like oh damn, this is Robert Downey Jr. The, the homeowners called because they thought somebody was trespassing in their house, a, a home break-in. Now, it's, you know, how embarrassing was that for him? But let's look at this. Robert Downey Jr. was a liability to Hollywood. So the fact that he went through that turbulent time, in jail, out of jail, on probation, off probation, but now you gotta do your day job and no, nobody in Hollywood wants to mess with you because they can't take a chance on you no more. You, you have proven yourself to have a real problem. Can I invest money in this guy now? Is he going to show up to work? Is he a has-been? Is it So Robert Downey Jr. had to beg, borrow, steal, really get the agents and the management and the, the check writers and the people who approve scripts to say, you know what, I'm going to take a chance on you, but he did it. That proves he is built for this. He wanted it. It wasn't just talk. Yes, he went through some turbulent times, but he was willing to fight and claw and, and really do whatever it took to get back on top. That's when you know you want it. But there's another case scenario that I think of. It's one thing, you know, and God willing, you all make it to the top. You all become mega rich. But I've seen it a million times where people make it to the top and all of that fire and all of that ambition that they once had, now they're just fat and lazy. They don't want to go to work no more. They don't want to do nothing. It's, it's, it's like, you know what? They made it to the mountaintop and it's, it just got tired. They got comfortable. They got complacent. And that's why I love a person like a Tom Brady. Because Tom Brady, top of the world, six rings, the GOAT. And says, you know what? Six rings, it's not enough for me. I got to truly prove that I am the greatest that I ever did. I know people are looking at me like, yo, he's over 40. I know people are looking at me like, you know, there are younger, more athletic quarterbacks that are now in the league and they're making more money than you make, um, that you're currently making. There are people looking at you like you're over the hill. Just take your money and take your rings and run. But he has something to prove. He is built for this. He's like, I don't care what y'all say. I'm doing this for me. I got in this league to prove that I am the best that ever did it. Sign me up for another year. And I promise you, Patriots, I am going to bring you another ring. 
That's when you know you're built for it. Do you have that kind of tenacity? Do you have that kind of ambition, that kind of drive that if you were sitting on all the money in the world, you had a model chick on your arm, like every, you can't go nowhere on planet earth that people don't know your name. Would, would you still have that type of drive? Would you still have that type of killer instinct to say, I'm willing to go out there another year and do it again just because I need y'all to know. I need myself when I look in that mirror to know I am built for this. Because if you have that attitude, if you have that kind of desire and commitment to your craft, congratulations. One day you will be successful. Peace and love make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.